Casamigos Tequila, as always, brings you the program, an abbreviated one tonight, before finally baseball. And the word is finally. You have waited a long, long time for this. Baseball's back. The weather looks like it will cooperate. Obviously, there can be a thunderstorm down in D.C. at any moment. It can be one up here, as a matter of fact, at any moment. But it's been four and a half months, long months, crazy months since we've had a team sport. We have waited a long time. We have gone through a lot of, you know, ups and downs and twists and turns. Uh, but finally, this evening, baseball is back. Uh, and none too soon. A sense of renewal, a sense of normalcy, and really a victory for the culture over a insidious pandemic that had won every battle previously until now. But not now and not this evening. So finally, the Yankees and the Nats, as it should be. Tonight, baseball will showcase the two teams in this abbreviated 60-game regular season that we know now will have expanded playoffs after today's announcement, just for this year. Expanded playoffs, still to be approved by the owners, but they will approve. That's what they wanted all along. They got it. They will approve it, and that will be just for this season. So we don't know what the future will bring, but it will bring more playoffs. You can count on it. Okay, that's the way it will be. But that's the way the owners want it. That's where they make their money. But we will begin this crazy 60 games in 66 days. And tonight, baseball will start by showcasing the two teams expected, heavily expected to be there when they only have two standing. Everyone expects it doesn't mean it'll happen. It probably won't happen. But they expect the Yankees and the Dodgers to be there. They're overwhelming favorites. In this crazy uh, regular season, they have the best teams, stock teams. Not 100% uh, present tonight because LeMayu won't be there for the Yankees. Obviously, you know the news about Soto getting uh, hit with the virus. So we don't know how long he will be out uh, for the uh, champs. But tonight, you have Cole and you have Scherzer. Then you have Cuerda and you have uh, Kershaw on the mound as it should be. So you'll see some... Big teams and big stars as baseball finally makes it back. And as we said, for sports fans everywhere, for the country as a whole, it is a a good night because it is one more step. Now, we're not going to see a wild setting. We're not going to see fans in the stands. We are watching a different game in an abbreviated season played in a very weird way, but it is definitely better than the alternative, which is no baseball. For the people who have waited to have some sports to watch, this is a very, very meaningful night. The other sports are going to fall in line behind it. And each day that that happens is a step in the right direction. And one of the most important things that could happen in our nation, in our culture, in our individual communities, was to have professional sports, which has such a hold on this country, and especially baseball, which has the most meaningful hold, not the most popular sport, but has the most meaningful hold. And when it got back, it was a big step. The next step that would be as meaningful would be schools. Hopefully those will start to, at least in some parts of the country, at least in some way, begin as we hit the fall, but one step at a time. Tonight, a very, very big step for the country and obviously uh, for the sports fans, a very, very special night because they get to go home tonight. And if you're driving home right now, you're doing it as a baseball fan with a smile on your face, knowing that when you get there tonight, you can turn on a baseball game. All right, it's got some getting used to. You know, empty ballparks. I just watched the race at Saratoga that uh, we had a horse racing in no lime who ran second in the finale at Saratoga, and you turn it on and you watch, and it's not the same because it's an empty Saratoga, an eerie, 
eerily empty, Saratoga. And the ballparks, in some regards, will have an eerie feeling at times. But the idea that you can sit down tonight and watch the Yankees play in Washington and then watch the Giants and the Dodgers and watch Cole and watch Kershaw and watch Scherzer and see the game back the game that is so much a part of our springs and summers and falls, to finally be back after months and months of waiting. It's been the middle of March since we've had a team sport played in this country, a middle of March. This is now the 23rd day of July. It has been a long, long time coming. But the word tonight, without any question, is finally. And... In just a few minutes, if you're in your car, you'll be hearing the sounds of summer. If you're home, you're going to be running to your set and be watching the sights of summer as baseball is back. And we're back after this. As always, brings you the program brought to you by those who drink it, and we thank them for their patronage. The Yankee lineup tonight, and how good does it it feel and sound to hear that? that you have on your way home as you head home this evening or you're getting ready to watch a ball game or listen to the ball game on the fan this evening, you have a lineup to kick around. No LeMayu, as we said, and obviously no uh, Soto for the uh, Nats. Hicks in center field leading off Judge in his familiar two spot uh, in right field. Torres who will find himself, I think, in the three spot a lot this year, uh, batting third and now playing uh, his position, shortstop. The DH will be Stanton, who obviously still has plenty to prove in a Yankee uniform. Um, Gaudy will be in left field, and we have said that for many, many years on opening day. Gaudy in the lineup again for another season. Sanchez behind the plate. Voight at first, Urshela, who... Really surprised last year and deserves every chance to prove that he is a regular. There is no question. He is a brilliant glove, a sensational glove at third base. Can he prove that last year was not a fluke with the bat? We will see. He doesn't have to hit as well as he did last year to stay in the lineup. He does so many things. But he's going to have to hit some because this is the Yankees. And there's always pressure and guys pushing, and they have plenty of bats trying to break their way into the lineup in a lot of different places. Wade is at second right now. LeMayu will be there when he's healthy, and obviously anticipation abounds for Cole on the mound, who not only looks to earn that incredible contract that he signs, but looks to prove that he is what, I think he believes he is, and that is the best pitcher in baseball. First has to prove he's the best starting pitcher in New York because obviously he shares the spotlight here with DeGrom. So it is not a even a given that he's the best starting pitcher in this town, no less the best pitcher in the sport. But he can be a very dominant pitcher. He has grown into a dominant pitcher, and his job right now is a simple one lead the Yankees to a World Series. That's it. Anything short of that, even in this abbreviated season, anything short of that for the Bombers is a colossal failure. Anything short of that for the Bombers is a bitter disappointment, even in this 60-game and 66-day, very, very strange regular season. Nothing Nothing can take the pressure off the Yankees. They are expected to win. They are expected to finally get back to a World Series where most people expect them to meet the team that will play later tonight. And that, of course, the Dodgers, who were loaded and are still looking to finally, finally prove that they can be champions. They have proved they know their way to the postseason. They have proved now they know their way into the deepest parts of October. But still, with that man on the mound who was always so brilliant during the regular season, they need to prove that they can win a championship. Now, we open this program tonight by proclaiming finally because of the fact that we finally have baseball back. We close it with an announcement of some finality. Tomorrow night will be my last regular, regularly scheduled broadcast on the fan. 
I have been discussing this with the uh, company for a while. We had agreed, and they've been great about it, that I would stay until sports came back. Now sports has come back. The reason I just, listen, I have cut back dramatically. This has been a very strange year. It has made me think about different things and want to do different things. I don't want to have a regular schedule as part of my day anymore. I want to spend more time with family. I want to be able to take my kids to a bunch of colleges. I have three of them in high school right now, and I want to make those trips. I look forward to it. I want to spend more time uh, with my family. I also want to be able to go to Florida more where we have a home. And I have some other interests, business interests, the horses, which I have interest in, and I still have a great goal of trying to one day see if I can find my way to the derby with a horse. It's been a dream. It's been a goal. It's one I haven't been able to fulfill. I'd like to be able to fulfill it. Um, I'm not retiring, but I will tell you that uh, there won't be any more regularly scheduled programs on the fan or anywhere else in my uh, future. I'm not saying I won't appear on a show as a guest. I'm not saying you won't hear me publicly. I'm not saying I won't be involved in some projects. Um, All that's possible. I've been offered a couple of times to write a book. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll give in. I don't know. I'm not sure if I will. Maybe. We'll see. You know, maybe uh, maybe I will. I'm not sure if I will and I'm, or I won't. But I'm not saying that you'll never hear from me again. What I'm saying is I think it's a very good time. The company has been great about it. Uh, they have been accommodating in every way. And I've said to them during this thing, you know what? When sports comes back, I want to step back from doing anything regularly. I want to be able to be free to go travel, to take my kids to schools, to go to Florida when I want, to travel when I want. Uh, It's opened my eyes, this crazy stuff we've gone through in the last four or five months, and uh, that's what I want to do. And I I can tell you that uh, both locally with the fan and uh, with the corporation – Nationally, Intercom, they have been uh, as accommodating uh, as they could possibly be. They've been very good about everything. Uh, and they said, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, you, the door's always open to come back and do anything you want. But I've said, this is what I want to do. Uh, you know, the fans will always be a great part of my life. Uh, I've had a career that I never could have dreamt to have the career I've had. I've been incredibly fortunate in every way. I've had a career that's been far succeeded, uh, you know, superseded anything I could have dreamt about. So uh, I'm very proud of everything we've been able to accomplish and ready to hand it off to the folks who come next. And the fans going to be as big and as uh, successful as it's always been in the years to come. I really believe that. So uh, I will do the show tomorrow night. We should have a, a full hour from six to seven uh, one last time. Uh, Right now, though, it is my pleasure, and I have to say, I say it absolutely thrilled personally to say baseball is back and the Yankees are next.